Criticate! To continue to what I was saying before Robert crudely interrupted me with the end of the episode, the imaginary truck? What the fuck are you talking about, Amanda? Anyway, we're safe from the ghost, but how will we ever survive this arctic tundra? Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? Yes! <laughs> I'm prepared to do anything to survive. Ah. That's called blooded. I like that. Uh. I'm not sure how the materials require to properly cook you. To cook you? Kids, <laughs> c- can you have a lighter conversation, please? Uh. Wait a second! Are you guys playing Long Haul Ice Road Paranormal Ghost Truckers? Yes! <laughs> I fucking love Callum and Flint. Amanda and I love that show. Hey. It's the best! Especially that episode where Callum hides Flint's keys and Flint retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spears after him. Yeah! It's such quality re- reality television. No way. <laughs> All right, Daisy. I found us a couple of bugs. They're gonna make a great meal. Lots of protein. They're gonna keep us f- f- from starving out here in this <laughs> harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole h- h- table of food. Are they, right gonna, <laughs> are they gonna actually eat the fucking bugs? Daisy, it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. Uh, <laughs> ah. Live a little. Uh, Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. Let's go for kindling for a fire! Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I just want her to be just like, you can't understand this single. <laughs> <laughs> She's just making noises. Yeah. But not an actual fire. As we're playing pretend. Hey! Now you're getting it! <laughs> Woo! Daisy Woo-hoo! and Amanda run off. What a cute <laughs> couple of kids. Do that so much? I don't know. <laughs> I turn my attention back to the conversation, but wait, where did Robert go? I skim the party and finally find him in the corner talking to Mary. Does does he not want to talk to us? Uh-huh. Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I snap out of my Robert-induced haze. God, I've uh, heard that a lot of times. <laughs> I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. Oh. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm. It's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Really? She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teachers say she spends every recess in the library. I think the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. There it is. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age, too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. She bit people, too. (laughs) Ho <laughs> ho Kids, right? Always biting people <laughs> in public. That's a totally normal thing for kids to do. We're amazing fathers. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love them. You're required to, by law. Uh. Well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try and put together a little play date for them. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. <laughs> And without further ado, let's work some magic. (laughs) Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? Oh, shit. He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dads take notice and, uh, and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. He puts his hand on the grill and he doesn't react. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes like an anime where like, he's doing like a super impressive he's doing montage. He's flips and shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You probably don't know this, Keith, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. Hey. He's ungrillievable. <laughs> I've tried to get on this level, but just get the fucking dialogue. No, I'm not saying say that it. Like, it's funny. <laughs> I've tried to get on this level, but I just can't catch up. <laughs> hey. Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <sighs> 
mustard. We keep talking about this. <laughs> Come, do we just appreciate the artist? Oh. I've never seen him make a mistake. Oh. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Please! <laughs> stop! <laughs> All of the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. Nice. All right, guys, the food's ready. <laughs> Please form an orderly barbecue. <laughs> Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Yeah. That's amazing. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. I hate hey. this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nice, isn't it? It feels like there's a real community here. Totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Mm -hmm. We're happy to have you here, man. <laughs> I think you're going to love it, like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all of the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. Oh. Hey. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, Dad, why don't you add us all on <laughs> on Dad Book? Dad Book? <laughs> yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. <laughs> We're all on it, so if you need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it. Sure. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. I was really far from the mic. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen Sita and those weird twins. I think they wanted her soul. Welcome to the neighborhood. We got an achievement. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. <laughs> Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. <laughs> Robert's pretty hot, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh shit! Uh, uh, what, what do you think? What do you think? Um, Felt like a networking event. I wish we could have been playing. I I, I could have yeah, been. I want to do that. Okay. You and Daisy seemed like you were having a way better time oh, than I was. Oh, shit. We made him seem like he didn't like it. Yeah. Because we were. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on, <laughs> on dad book. <laughs> Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. Oh, funny dad. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this place. I've got a bad feeling about this, Anakin. I mean, me too, Dad. <laughs> what if we start uh, slurring in subtle inklings that Amanda is just Obi-Wan Kenobi? Oh, man. Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. It's because it's a demon vegetable. Whoa. Fucking hate cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Uh, actually, yeah. I'm going out with some friends. They're all eight. <laughs> We're all going to play paranormal ice truckers. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's sad. <laughs> is, is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Hmm. You got it. And be careful. You got it. Make good choices. You got it. And call me if you, you need anything. <laughs> Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that, and we'll never do that again. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, do you have plans tonight? I, uh, my plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna, ooh, work on some stuff, see how long I can sleep for, or throw a party. What does he do for work? Oh, I want to know that. Oh, that's a good question. We don't really know, do sure. we? You, you want to do that? Yeah, why not? Okay, sure. You know, dad stuff. I'm just relaxing Does he tonight. Does not have a job? Have fun, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was adjusting my mic. <laughs> That's cool. Great, see you later. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really and do hope she has fun. Into the night. <laughs> <laughs> I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. 
Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. I'd love to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil. Like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional There's substance. There's only one Alaska, so you can only really make one baked Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm <laughs> not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. When I, I slept with Robert, <laughs> I also called that Meat Hell. <laughs> I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo. You good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. I Unless she's relatable. driving because home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I've earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Uh -oh. <laughs> now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only are, are not only not assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Oh no, what's going on with Amanda? Why didn't I find out where she was going? Oh man. Who she was even with? Why I don't know any of her friend's phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friend's full names? Oh, God! We'll Jacob, find out! We're gonna have to find out on the next, next episode, episode of Renegade! Ah!